What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? This is for uh, this is a video. For once, uh, this is not about uh, uh, my music or anything like that. Although, uh, if you enjoy it, uh, please check out our album that we just released, "Us Versus Them." Seven stations. It's available now everywhere. Anyway, this video is regarding FSX Flight Simulator 10 from Microsoft and this is a uh, 2011 tweet guide uh, to get you up in the air today because uh, the game's fairly old and uh, I don't know if um, through my research uh, the other day I found a couple things that uh, maybe I'm a little slightly late to the boat but at the same time I think some of the programs uh, the, the new links that I found uh, run really well with the new NVIDIA drivers um, and all the newest hardware uh, so this is uh, this is mainly intended for uh, NVIDIA people, sorry ATI people, but I think the uh, the same concept applies uh, once you see here. So as you know, FSX, um, just to clear up some things, FSX will run uh, in 64-bit uh, operating systems and it will run in Windows 7, so it will run on anything. Uh, so once you install it, you should be good. This is uh, my setup here, uh, I got CH, uh, I got the rudder pedals down there. Um, then I got the X52. Uh, then that that up that thingy up here is the uh, Track IR five. So I got I got my whole flight set up here. Um, FSX I got it FSX running perfectly again, and it's a really tough game to get run to to uh, that you have to run uh, be, because of the tweaking and everything. All our computers can easily handle it, but unfortunately it it's it's just all about the tweaking. And I found two sites that will basically uh, do everything. Well, one will conf uh, print a, uh, do a uh, config file for you. Um, automatically, it will do suggestions. I followed it, and I did everything it asked me to, and uh, the game runs uh, smoothly at I don't know how many frames per second. It says there's a frame limiter, uh, external frame limiter that it suggested, but it, it runs flawlessly now. Um, high max detail, max resolution 1900. Um, and then the other website is, uh, as you know, Enhancer, um, NVIDIA, uh, forces the anti-aliasing for, for FSX, uh, and forces your NVIDIA drivers to force your anti-aliasing. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the websites to go to, and then I'll click on the, uh, the link. Sorry if this video is too long here, but, okay, so this is, I don't know if you can see it here. Can't really see it too well, but this is the um, ins NVIDIA Inspector, uh, and this is where you apply the settings here, and um, you just have to go to MS Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, Oops. Um, and then you override the anti-aliasing. Um, can't really tell here, but because it's too bright, but then it'll, it'll it will apply to the in, in, the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so here's the two websites that you have to go to. Um, the first one is NVIDIA. I found it through here. I'll, I will link it. Um, it's the NVIDIA Inspector, uh, which is a brilliant program um, made by Ormu 2K. Um, it'll show the web link. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you guys will check it out. He gets all the credit for this. Um, the forum here, this guy, uh, who's this? This person um, gives us an in-depth explanation on uh, Ryan Maziar's from PMDG, which is, uh, I think, uh, one of the uh, companies that does awesome add-ons for FSX. He gives you two settings here. Uh, I use the, the higher quality setting because uh, I have a 470 GTX, just a single one because uh, I couldn't do SLI yet because of my um, older motherboard. But um, I think anyone could probably run it on the high on the higher setting here, 8x uh, SQ with a 2x super sampling, um, and it forces it. It doesn't enhance the application setting. This in, uh, inspector in, uh, overrides it. Uh, Enhancer did that too, but um, um, it doesn't work anymore, and it didn't work for me ever. But the inspector is the new program to use. So use inspector. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing, all uh, the other thing you need to do, is uh, this awesome website. Um, I will link it up too. 
It's a tweaking and tuning tool for FSX. You plug in all your values here, and it will pop out um, a FSX config file, a new one for you. It's awesome. Um, and I suggest you guys donate to these uh, inspector and to this website too to keep them running because they basically um, they basically got FSX running perfectly for us again. Again, I'm going to link these websites. So those are the two websites. Um, it might ask you to um, install an F. Uh, there's another. There's a third program, an FPS ex ex external limiter. I don't know what it does. Frame limiter exactly, but uh, it seemed to be uh, making the game run really well. Um, let's see here. I don't know. Uh, I can't fly the the Mustang. It sucks. Um, if we fly the Piper, because I don't have my CHEO here plugged in, Piper is one of the uh, s stick. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna link link up the uh, the the thing. Um, if I put, there you go. Oops, what's going on here? Why am I getting pulled back? Either wind or something weird. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so... This is Hanscom Air Base I'm at. Um, as you can see, um, it's uh, it runs really well runs really smoothly. Um, even in busier airports it runs really... I, I have no idea why the planes are going backwards right now. Maybe uh, some... There we go. Maybe it's wind. That's interesting. So, let me, let me give you a closer shot of here. Um, I'm just moving around with the mouse here. Let me see if I can use the rudder pedals here. I may crash, guys. Sorry. This, this, this is bad. This is Okay, so um, just trying to give you a view of the graphics here. Maybe I can take off externally uh, from the external view of the cockpit. Let's see, okay, let me just uh, do the rudders. Oops. Whoa. Okay. All right. So. This is kind of tough to fly like this, so if I crash, don't yell at me. All right. All right. So, as you can see, let me see if I can unpause my track IR. Look how smoothly it runs. Clear sky, so you can't really see the, the cool uh, sky effects here, but... Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to link. So I'll get the cockpit view again. I'm going to link. Um, okay, sorry for the uh, crazy movement here. I'm going to link these two websites. You need to go to them. You need to download Inspector. You need to download. Uh, you need to go to the other website. Get your config file. Um, with these two things combined, um, you're going to be running FSX up. Um, it'll it'll suggest the detail settings for you. That's Boston up in the distance up there. Um, let's pause. It in there. Uh, what is I going to say? Yeah. So I hope this helps you guys because uh, I know a lot of people had a lot of questions about FSX and that it can't run or whatever. I thought that too that the, uh, the new hardware, the new NVIDIA drivers wouldn't let you override the anti-aliasing because you j just cannot run anti-aliasing in, um, in the game, within the game as you know. There's some traffic up there, it's pretty cool. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, important, more, more importantly, which I realized, uh, run it in DirectX 9. Uh, if it suggests, try DirectX 10. I don't think my anti-aliasing settings were working if I was running it in DirectX 10. Um, DirectX 9 right now, you know, 
can't get the DirectX 10, you know, shiny water or whatever, but um, as you can see, I mean, just having the game run this smoothly is all you need, and obviously, you know, the detail settings should be pretty close to max here. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tweet guide. Uh, we're all waiting anxiously for Microsoft Flight, which will have Windows Live uh, instead of GameSpy and probably a huge multiplayer. Um, the community will grow again, but, you know, for now, uh, FSX runs great. I mean, if you just apply those two, um, those the websites by those uh, brilliant guys who made those programs for us, um, you know, FSX will run just today, 2011, on all the newest hardware, will run just fine. And uh, that's about it. And uh, guys, uh, check out my other videos, but more importantly, uh, you know, again, if you want to support me and my music here, because um, I'm a musician, that's what I do. And uh, my hobby is PC games and Flight Simulator here. So, Us vs. Them, Seven Stations album is out actually right now. Um, and uh, yeah, comments, questions, I'm glad to help you out. I will post the links up. Have a good Saturday. See you later.